So you're looking for an affordable hotel right on Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. As always, we searched Yelp, Google, Facebook, and asked a whole bunch of locals. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're hanging out at the Dayton House Resort to see how it stacks up against the competition. travel and make videos for you, I stay at the more expensive options. Naturally, I make the best of everything videos and the best hotels usually cost the most. Places like the Marriott at the Grand Dunes if you were to stay in the Myrtle Beach area. A hotel is absolutely epic, in fact it's a whole resort and I'll link a video for you up top, you definitely want to make sure you check it out. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell not to miss out on my latest videos. So fine, expensive hotels are nice and they better be for the price, right? But what about the more affordable options? That's something I always wondered when I visited the Myrtle Beach area and something that we're gonna find out in this video. Remember, the entire purpose of this video is to set your expectations so you're not disappointed when you book a stay at the Dayton House Resort. I have to be honest, I was not prepared for what was waiting for me. Now this was booked on a whim just a few days and was not really targeted for a YouTube review, so I did not do a deep dive or read a lot of the comments, but nonetheless, let's read some of the advertised facts at face value directly from the website. Hmm. So as soon as you open up the website, you greeted with the included with your stay is the complimentary deluxe hot breakfast. We'll talk about the deluxe hot breakfast in a second. I'll show you what they mean by this. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll see a whole bunch of people having fun. There are pictures of uh, folks having a great time on the beach. There are a bunch of comments that say things like the Dayton House Beach was the best and etc. And if you keep scrolling, you talk about, they talk about accommodations over here. So I quote, the Dayton House Resort offers a wide variety of well-appointed amenities to please even the most discerning of visitors. Now I'm not even close to being discerning. In fact, I'm probably somewhere in the middle and I'll tell you, this is probably a, a very much a false statement. I really don't think that it would please even half of the people that show up there, but we'll talk about that more in a second. And if you keep going down, they talk about the amenities, right? So they say there's a zero entry pool, there's an oceanfront lazy river, uh, there's a oceanfront tanning lawn, I guess, a yellow umbrella bar and grill, we'll talk about that in a second, and the free deluxe hot daily breakfast. And the picture of this breakfast looks absolutely nothing like what you get. But again, we'll talk about that in a second. And after reading all of that, you may be inclined to set your expectations quite high. I mean, it's not the Marriott at the Grand Dunes, but hey, it's not that bad, right? Let's move on to some of the comments. These were all taken from Yelp. They're all recent and all from pretty credible profiles of folks that do post a lot. So as soon as you open Yelp and you start reading the reviews, you're instantly greeted with lots of negative stuff. Tons and tons of people say that they would give this place a zero out of five, that it's dirty, that it's understaffed, 
that their expectations were a lot higher than what the place really showed. A lot of other folks are saying something that's even more concerning, like that they found bed bugs and that there are cockroaches in there. There are some reviews that are talking about just normal human error. Like for example, there's one person that uh, when they came in, they said that they checked into a room where somebody was already occupying it. And there are others that complain about the rooms being dirty. So it seems like there's not enough staff in the hotel to clean the rooms. So guests get checked into dirty rooms. I mean, that's unacceptable, but it seems like maybe a human error. Now there are other ones like the hotel being dirty, which I, by the way, I can confirm. It was dirty. I'll talk more about that in a second. And then the whole bed bug and cockroaches. Now I did not notice any bed bugs or cockroaches. Of course I checked the bed as soon as I get to the hotel. It's one of the first things I do, but it's not, you know, something that you always, you know, you can miss it with your eyes, right? Bed bugs can be small. They can also be something that you can't see, but I didn't notice any, any bugs or any bites on me or anything like that. So I can say that I, there were no bed bugs in my room and I never noticed any cockroaches or anything like that. So I'm not sure take it as you want, but the hotel was definitely dirty. Jeez, look at this. Marsha from Boston, bed bugs, tip, <laughs> trip from hell, don't stay here. Wow, there's a few other people that talk about how they, bed bugs, again, pictures, they even have pictures of bed bugs, this is bad. This is very bad. And a few others are talking about how they, again, they weren't expecting it to be this busy. A lot of other folks also thought that all of the buildings were oceanfront. That's not true. Only three out of the four buildings are oceanfront. So you can get stuck across the street, of course, which doesn't provide you the oceanfront view that you wanted. So keep that in mind. So what's going on here? How come these people are upset? Are they over exaggerating or just ranting? Well, here's my personal experience. I do think this resort is more like a motel just on the beach. Now it does have a small gym, pools, parking, and breakfast, but they're very much misrepresented by the website, which reminds me of like an Instagram. The pictures do have some reality in them, but filtered to look the best way they possibly can. As in, in reality, they do not look the same. It very much sets the wrong expectation and adds to the disappointment for some guests who do not do enough research to see what it's really like at this resort. Personally, I found the property to be very dated and cheap. Carpets are old. There are lots of weird smells. The rooms, elevators, hallways are musty, dated, and in some cases, dirty. The elevator kind of scared me because it jerked every time you got to the first floor and I almost thought I was gonna die. The pools are, okay, I'm joking, not die, but it was really kind of concerning. That elevator jerks so hard as soon as it gets to the first floor and it smells bad in there. The pools are packed and small. The lazy river pool is for infants at best. And the DJ plays non-stop music all day and night that sounds more like your local college bar than a resort. The room was very basic, very dated and clean-ish, I would say. The, the save didn't work at all. In fact, it was just there for like, for, for show. Look at it, it doesn't even have the internals. Did someone break into this room before us? <laughs> That's just crazy. Now, it's not all negative. There are some positives. Let me not be, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Cranky over here. Let's talk about some positives. So first, let's talk about the beachfront. And that definitely is a positive, right? The main three buildings are right on the beach and you're able to enjoy that. So there's definitely a positive. Do remember that the fourth building is right across the street and not beachfront. Now the pricing is cheaper than some of the other resorts in the area. You can save a good amount of money by staying here versus the more expensive resorts like the Marriott and the Grand Dunes. But remember, those are actually resorts and you do get what you pay for. Free breakfast is included and it's not continental, so it's definitely a positive. This is a full buffet style breakfast that gives you options. Now the food is mediocre at best, but it is free and you can't complain. Most people will be satisfied if you just need to fill up. If you are a foodie and looking for the best breakfast in Myrtle Beach, here's a video of some of the top places that you can go to for breakfast that will absolutely knock your socks off 
you will not be disappointed. If you want breakfast, make sure you check out that video up top. And last but not least, of course, is the location. This is again, a beachfront property that is located within walking distance of most activities in Myrtle Beach. Whether you wanna to go to the boardwalk, you wanna to go to the sky wheel, visit any of those restaurants, have fun right there in Myrtle Beach, this is definitely center. Overall, I did not enjoy my stay at the Dayton House Resort and I will not be back even if they pay me. Now, normally I don't like to make negative videos or even reviews on YouTube. This is not my thing, but in this case, I have to showcase this to you just so you're prepared. If you're looking to book a stay at the Dayton House Resort, make sure to set your expectations low. This way, you're not disappointed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.